In this lecture, we will be covering questions about age. These questions are very simple, except that the language is kept confusing. The basic idea that is checked over here is about ratio and proportion. So you need to be good with that. We have already covered ratio and proportions uh, in a lecture before this. So I am sure you will be up to speed with it. So why don't I just show you a normal example. This is a very basic example. You won't be seeing this in an exam. But let's see how it works. My age today, let's suppose that is 25 years. So 2 years back, that would be 25 minus 2. 2 years later, that would be 25 plus 2. Similarly, if this was 5 years back, then this would be 25 plus 5. This would be minus, I'm sorry. This would be 25 plus 5. Right? This is all that you need to know. Okay? Comparison between different ages, something like suppose someone's age is 25, the other person's age is 30, then they say the ratio between the two, all you have to do is just 25 is to 30. Okay? That is all you have. And then you apply the basic ratio uh, properties that we have studied before. Now we just remove the 25 over from here. Okay? And let's see what happens. If we denote the age of a person, let's say the person is A. If we denote his age by A, then the age 2 years before becomes A minus 2. Age 2 years later becomes A plus 2. 5 years before becomes A minus 5. 5 years later becomes A plus 5. So, this is how we will be representing age. A sample question. Ruby's age is twice that of Tipu. Okay. Let's say we denote Ruby's age by R and Tipu's age by T. Then at present, we know that Ruby's age is twice that of Tipu's age. Okay. Then, if 5 years back, Ruby's age was thrice the age of Tipu, which means 5 years back, R was thrice the age of Tipu. This is R5 part. This is T5 part. Okay. Now, this was thrice the age of Tipu. So, R5 back, 5 years back, R's age was R minus 5. Right? So R minus 5 is equal to 3 times T minus 5. Now we have to find Ruby's age 2 years from now. So we have to find R plus 2, the value for R plus 2. This is the question. So how do we do this? It's simple. We have two equations here. Equation number 1 is this. Equation number 2 is this. We solve the two equations and we get the answer for either R or T and then we put that in the R plus 2 and we get the answer. Right? So when we substitute 2T over here, we get 2T minus 5 is equal to 3 times T minus 3 into 5 is 15. Okay. Now you solve this, you get 2T three t here T remains, 10 remains here, so we get T equals to 10. So T is 10, we get it. And from here, since we know R is equal to 2T, so R becomes 20. Okay. R is 20, R plus 2 becomes 22. That is our answer. Okay. Now, how about I take an actual exam question and then see how we solve that. Okay. This is an exam type question. It says the ratio of A's age to that of B's age is 4 is to 5. Okay. A's age denoted by A is to B's age denoted by B is equal to 4 is to 5. Fine. The ratio of C's age to that of D's age is 5 is to 4. 
C's age is to D's age is equal to 5 is to 4. Fine. If the sum of B's age and C's age is 50, okay, let's do something over here first. We know age to B is equal to 4 is to 5, which means if I just say 4x, 5x, it makes no difference, right? So I can say A's age is equal to 4x, B's age is equal to 5x, and that will be the depiction of A's and B's ages. Similarly, we can say C is equal to 5y and D is equal to 4y. Because when you want, like we discussed in the ratio proportion uh, lecture, if you multiply the same number in the numerator or denominator, it does not change the ratio. Fine. So now the next thing the question says is, if the sum of B's age and that of C's age is 50, B's age is 5x, C's age is 5y, and it is given that this is equal to 50, then we have to find the sum of all their ages. So let's see. We solve this equation. We take 5 common out, x plus y is equal to 50, or 5 into 10. We can remove this from here. We have x plus y is equal to 10. Let's call this as first equation. Now, we have to find out the value of a plus b plus c plus d. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's first do one thing. We have done this is b's age plus c's age is equal to 50. What is the value of a, a's age plus d's age? This will be equal to 4x plus 4y. Now we take 4 common, so we have 4 into x plus y. From 1, we know x plus y is equal to 10. So we put 4 into 10 equal to 40. That is, the sum of a's age and d's age is 40. And we are already given that the sum of b's age and c's age is 50. Thus, we add all the 4 ages and we get the answer as 90. So these are basic questions that you'll be seeing in age-related problems. Go on to the practice uh, questions. Best of luck.